in Georgia. So many incredible hits. You know, she has 35 number ones, and she's coming on The Voice next season as a mega mentor, okay? I'm very excited for her. Now, it's on her first time on The Voice. She was actually back on season one. I kind of yeah, I remember that. She was a battle adv advisor for Coach Blake Shelton. You know, he's entering his last season <gasps> next year oh, right. in the spring, or this year, season 23. Yeah. Whew, I'm all over the place, but I'm so excited for her because she's now mega. And she actually was asked to be a coach originally, and Blake took that spot, but she was like, I can't do it. I don't want to critique them too much. Now Aww. she's seen how long the show lasted, and was like, maybe I should have signed up. Right. But she's incredible. She she's actually so opened great. her own restaurant in Oklahoma, her home state, just last month. So that's really cool. It's kind of a variety venue. She's the best. Let's look at her song here in Georgia. She was in this makeup for six hours with one of those face molds. She really got into character and it was an absolute scene. Let's take oh, a look. Oh, let's see. That's the night that the lights went out. Yes. Am I, so good. am I right in saying that was originally a Vicki Lawrence song? Um, I believe it was. It was either that one or another one, but it's no, kind of confusing. No, Vicki Lawrence, I mean, I yep. remember her singing it. I don't know. That's something to Google, Trent. Let's look it up. Watch for Blake's final season. He's joined by Niall Horn for the first time, Chance the Rapper, and Kelly Clarkson as coaches. That's going to be Niall a great Horn. farewell. That's going to be so good. Here we go, Chick-fil-A. This guy's name is James Linston, and he's a Texan, and he's ate Chick-fil-A for a thousand consecutive days. He got no a little way. special celebration, of course, except for Sundays. A thousand balloons and a little, lots of vouchers given by Chick-fil-A. So, well, I would hope. Wait, yeah. that, that seems like it might be expensive, Trent. It probably it adds probably... up. He's been married for 50 plus years. He loves it so much that wherever he travels, whether it be Florida or wherever, he finds that Chick-fil-A. He sure drives he to it. He usually eats it for breakfast and he absolutely loves it. Let's take a look at, at more. Oh, we hear, we have a comment from Cynthia. She said, let's check the calories on that bad boy. I know. The blood pressure, the cholesterol levels. Maybe and he gets some grill. Maybe he gets maybe some grill. Maybe he does. Now, speaking of health though, they just launched a cauliflower in a test market sandwich and Morgan Chomps, let's take a look at her eat it. She says that, uh, uh, it wasn't watery, that it tasted okay. It's their first plant substitute at Chick-fil-A. Whoa. And she actually was kind of pleased by it. Wow, I'll have to try that. It's not yet in our market, but it could be. Yeah, Right Hopefully now it's in soon. North Carolina. All right. Yesterday was the all-time warmest day in February. It hit 81 degrees at the airport. It's going to continue, says Chris Holcomb. So All warm, right. bundle, not bundle up. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Do it's okay, Trent. Here? It's Thursday. <laughs> it's fine. See you tomorrow. Go for a walk. Enjoy your day. Mwah. You're, you're